there's like a lot of guitar players out there, a lot of musicians, and you know, you say I don't fit the stereotype, but uh, but and, and, and but there there it's funny because there is a stereotype about guitar players, you know, and musicians and hanging out, and, and you know, for me it's a very serious thing, and I, I practice all the time, and I'm thinking about it, thinking about it all the time, and it means a lot to me. I've always had sort of a physical reaction to it, you know. It's been there as long as I can remember, you know, I really a deep interest in it. You know, I have a lot of ideas about music and a lot of things I want to do, and, uh, and it's important to me to be able to just express those ideas to people. Well, Area Photograph's been around for a couple of years, and this year I decided to do something different with it. And I wanted to uh, do a performance every month. And um, every month I go out into the community, into Philadelphia, and I, uh, I talk to different groups of people about their life and their experience and you know, who they are. And, and then I write music about them. And then we do a recording of that music. We rehearse it, we record it, and then we uh, do a performance of it. With each piece I write for Aerial Photograph, I'm trying to, to bring something out of the band differently, you know? So I try to have a, a song with like a different vibe and a different sort of aesthetic to sort of see what happens when that is, you know, when the group interprets that. Sometimes musical phrases have a certain depth and emotion to them innately. And so sometimes if someone there's been experiences I've had this year where I was talking to someone and uh, something about their uh, situation in life and the way they were uh, dealing with it um, and their emotion, you know, something about that sort of uh, made me think musically a certain way. In February it was all about people dealing with drugs and recovery and addiction, and there was a couple people I talked to who were really desperate, you know, like really bottom of their, um, you know, they had hit rock bottom, and uh, and talking to someone in that situation was kind of like really it was really heavy, and um, so when I go to compose, I'm just thinking about the experience of talking to that person and hanging out with them, and you know, trying to feel what they're feeling and trying to make some kind of sense of that musically. I think it, it all goes together, you know. Like one thing I've been thinking about a lot this year is audiences. You know, you know, I, I definitely do music for myself. You know, and uh, I, I feel I, I gain a lot of fulfillment out of just making music. You know, and and I wonder if the, if I never played to another human being in my life, you know, would my relationship to music change, or how would it change, and what would that mean? And with Aerial Photograph, I've really tried to get people to come out to these shows every month this year. You know, because. Uh, because I think the people I've talked to uh, weren't an audience, you know, not necessarily me or my music, but hearing someone talk about their life and their situation in Philly um, is important to me, you know. So I, th I thought those people, um, <clears throat> it's important for people to hear other people's stories and perspectives, you know. And now I don't feel like when I when I play a show and there's a big audience there, I'm playing for my audience, you know. I feel like they're for me, like they, uh, and I'm for the music. And so in a sense, we're all kind of there to experience this moment, you know, in music. And they kind of egg me on, <laughs> you know, they're there to help me, you know. We invite you to log on and check out this process of artistic exploration called Big Ears.